Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm gonna to show you the easiest way to get your main games up and running on your Windows PC. For this, we're gonna be using LaunchBox, and if you're not familiar with LaunchBox, this is an emulation slash gaming front end. It's free to use, but they do have a premium option, which allows you to access Big Box, which is a really nice little front end. But for everything we're going to be doing in this video, you can use the free version. And in the past, I've actually done a very similar video using LaunchBox. Their main full set importer has been implemented for a little while now, but they've added some new updates, and I figured it was worth making another video because they've made it easier than ever to get your main games up and running. So if you're ready to get this going, let's go ahead and get started. Now, first things first, you're gonna need your MAME ROMs, and I would highly recommend downloading a full MAME ROM set. That's exactly what we need to get this working. As of making this video, the latest version of 0.240, you can pick up the merged or the split set, it's really up to you. With the basic set, it's about 56 to 60 gigabytes. With the CHDs and all the 3D stuff, it can get much, much larger. Unfortunately, I can't tell you exactly where to get them, but if you do a quick Google search, you'll find everything you need. I personally use the MAME split set. So what I have here is a fresh install of LaunchBox. Link for the website is in the description. You can go ahead and download the free version, get it installed on your x86 PC, and once you start it up, you'll get something that looks like this. Now, first things first, we need our MAME ROMs. Like I mentioned, I use the split set, and as of making this video, the latest ROM set is 0.240 this will be higher in the future. I've got all of my MAME games in a single folder. It's called MAME ROM Set 0.240. Now keeping your MAME ROM Set updated can be a pain, so if you're using an older version, you're totally fine there. I'll show you exactly what you need to do. But I've got my games here, and personally, I like to keep LaunchBox fully portable. So what I'm gonna do is open up my LaunchBox installation folder and this is usually located on your C drive, users, username, launchbox. And since we're working with a fresh install of launchbox, we need to create a folder called games. This is where we're gonna store all of our ROMs. So I'm just gonna transfer my main ROM set folder over here to the games folder that I just created, and now they're all in a single location. That way, if I ever just wanna transfer my full launchbox build over to another drive, Everything's gonna be there for it. So now that we have our games in place, it's time to do an import, and it's very easy to do with the new LaunchBox MAME full set importer. From Tools, we're gonna to go to Import, and you'll see we have a section called MAME Arcade Full Set Importer. We're gonna choose this. It's gonna bring up our window, and I would highly recommend reading through all of this, but it's very self-explanatory. We're gonna choose Next. What would you like to call your arcade platform? I'm gonna stick with Arcade. Now we need to tell LaunchBox where our main ROMs are located. So I'm gonna go ahead and browse here. LaunchBox, games, and like I showed you, I transferred mine over to this folder, main ROM set 0.240. So we're just gonna select this folder. When it comes to the full set version, we can use the dropdown. And if you're using an older version, you can go all the way back if you need to. But like we saw, we're on the latest version, which is 0.240. So we're gonna stick with that. We'll choose Next, and here's where the new updates to the main full set importer come into play. We can now automatically install and configure MAME. And this is really awesome. It's actually going to set this up completely for us. It's going to download and install MAME, and it's going to configure it for us. It's going to change some graphic settings. It adds a script to allow it to launch in full screen. I mean, this is kind of an all-in-one, easy-to-use method. And I highly recommend choosing the first option, Automatically Install and Configure MAME. So once we choose that, it's gonna get online, download MAME for us. It's gonna put it in the correct location and get all the configuration set up for us. You can also set up the LaunchBox High Score Leaderboard. And in order for this to work, you will need to sign in with your LaunchBox Games Database account. It's free to sign up. This is gonna keep track of your MAME high scores and you can actually compare it to other users. So go ahead and sign in with your games database account and it's gonna keep track of your MAME high scores. That way you can compare it to other people on the forum. So if you're interested in something like this, you can always sign up for a forum account. Once you're signed in, we'll choose next. We definitely wanna search for game information in the local metadata database. So we'll choose next here. And now when it comes to downloading your artwork, I'm actually going to check none here, and I'm going to show you how to do that later. It's just going to make this import process really quick. So we can always download this later. I've just checked none. You can always check all right here if you want to go ahead and let it do its thing. But I'm going to go with none for this video. 
We'll choose Next. And now we have our Game Filter window, and this comes in really handy for getting rid of those casino games and things that you just don't want to import. So the first option here is recommended, Import Clones as Additional Versions. You can skip clones entirely, or you can import all clones as separate games. This is not recommended. I'm going to stick with the very first option here, Import Clones as Additional Versions. Region to Prioritize. I'm going to go with North America. We also have some more options down here, like Skip Games, Unplayable in MAME, Skip Hack Games, Prototype Games, Bootleg Games, Mechanical Games. So yeah, you can get rid of those fruit games, casino games, rhythm games, tabletop games. It's really up to you. If there's a section in here that you still want to import, you can always uncheck it. But usually, I leave all of this checked here. We can also allow this to create playlists automatically for MAME subcategories, like Capcom Classics, and so on and so on. I personally like leaving this on. Create a playlist for two-player and four-player games. This makes it easy to filter through if you want to do a two-player or four-player game. And create playlists for your genres, like beat-em-ups, shooters, and platformers. So I leave all three of these checked, and now that I know I have everything set up correctly here, I'll choose Next. LaunchBox is going to parse our games for us. Just give it a second to finish up. And here we have it. So we've got the name of the game and the startup file over here. This is going to import all of the main games, except for the ones that I had checked, like the casino games and things like that. We'll choose Finish, and LaunchBox is going to go ahead and import our games. Remember, we're not downloading artwork right now. We will do that in just a second. But it should go through this process pretty quickly, even though there's around 25 to 2700 games depending on the version of MAME you're using. And there it is. Our MAME games are now imported into LaunchBox, and we can actually start playing right now. So I'm just going to search up Galaga. We'll just click on it. It's going to launch it for us. And we're ready to play. So with this, it does alleviate some of those startup screens for MAME, but it doesn't get rid of all the nagging screens, and we can actually get rid of those pretty easily. But here we are with Galaga running in MAME, started up from LaunchBox. Obviously, since we set everything up in LaunchBox, it's also going to transfer over to BigBox for us. I'm going to go ahead and exit this. And real quick, I want to show you that new MAME entry that was automatically created for us when we did the import. So we'll go to Tools. Manage, Emulators, and here it is. So if I go to Edit, you'll see that our running script was automatically created. Our exit script really doesn't need anything because Escape is default to exit MAME anyway. But our running script is actually pretty important, and this does try its best to get rid of all of the NAG screens, but we can actually download a modified version of the MAME EXE from the LaunchBox forum to get rid of all of those NAG screens. Personally, I don't mind using this method here. It doesn't bug me that much. But for some people, they might want to get rid of all of those NAG screens. And in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and close this down and head over to the LaunchBox forum. MadK9 has provided this file for us. This is the MAME No NAG Updated Monthly, and the current version is 0.240B. We're going to download this, and you can see we have the older 0.239 and the 0.24, which we're using now. We're going to go ahead and download it. Basically, it's just the EXE, so we'll go ahead and extract it. I'm just going to extract here. And we have this new MAME.EXE, which is going to replace the MAME.EXE that was automatically downloaded when we imported everything. So I'm going to snap this over to the right-hand side. I'm going to open up my LaunchBox directory. Snap this over here. And our emulators folder was automatically created when we imported those MAME games. What we're going to do is head into the main folder, and we're just going to place this exe in here. It's going to overwrite the stock exe. We want to replace the file in the destination. And now, when we start up a game, we won't have any nag screens. That's the no nag exe. It's really easy to use just to get rid of those pesky screens if you need to. And now, when we try to run a game that usually has nag screens, we'll go with X-Men here. It's going to jump right into the game. So we'll just start it up. And there we have it. So we're now playing the arcade version of X-Men super easily with no nag screens from LaunchBox or BigBox.
So it was pretty easy to get our MAME games imported and up and running in LaunchBox, but now we don't have any artwork, and I kind of wanted to save this for after the fact. It's actually really easy to do. I'm going to make sure I have my arcade selected over here. That way I'm only choosing my arcade games, even though this is a fresh install and that's all I have. We're going to press Control a and select the first game. That's going to copy all of the games in this section here. We're in Arcade, so this is all of our main games. We're going to go up to Tools, Download, Update Metadata and Media for Selected Games. So from here, this is our Media Wizard here. We'll choose Next. Search for game information from the local metadata database. And now we can select exactly what we want to download. And I'm just going to check all. It's going to download as much as it can for each one of these main games. Now we do have a ton of games here. There's uh, 2,800 games, so this will take a while. But it's going to do it in the background with the latest versions of LaunchBox. So we'll choose Next. And from here, we have three options. This one is going to be recommended. This is exactly what I'm going to be choosing. Yes, but do not replace any existing fields or media. Since we didn't download any media, it's not going to replace any of it. I'm going to make sure we choose that and finish. With the newest versions of LaunchBox, it's actually downloading our media in the background for us. We can start playing a game right now and it'll still be downloading. We can even exit LaunchBox right now and it'll start back where it was. And in the past, it was kind of a pain because you had to wait for this to finish before you did anything at all. But now you can even exit it, you can start playing a game, and just let this go so it finishes everything up in the background for us. I'm going to give this a little time to populate some of my artwork here. And here it is. So we've got some artwork downloaded. It's going to be doing this in the background. If we want to start up a game, we can. And let's just say you want to finish this up later. We can go ahead and close down LaunchBox. And we'll restart it from here. And it's going to continue downloading our artwork. In the past, if we closed it down, we'd have to restart the whole process. But with the latest releases of LaunchBox, they've updated the downloader. So it'll do it in the background and it'll resume itself once we get back into LaunchBox. So I just went ahead and let this download. It definitely took a while because we had a lot of images to download. But uh, as you can see, I've got a nice clean collection of my main games. We can actually set the image group to something else. We can go to carts, but I like the 3D boxes. And it just looks really clean. Now from over here, we're on platform, but we can go to platform category. And when we imported our games, it automatically created all of these. So if we want to go with flying games, it's only going to display the flying games we have installed for MAME beat em ups and so on and so on. We've even got light gun games right here. So in my opinion, this is the easiest way to get your MAME games up and running and I hope you at least try it out. This is free to use. Like I mentioned, they do offer a paid version that allows you to use big box, but it's really up to you. If you're just looking to get your MAME games up and running very easily on your Windows PC, then this is the best option. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. I really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.